this class we work out five problems on heating effect of electric current problem 1 an electric oven has three heating elements of resistance 25 ohm each they can be switched either all in series or all in parallel calculate the rate of heat in calories per second in both cases when the supply voltage is 230 volts we know that 1 watt is equal to 1 joule 1 watt is equal to 1 by 4.2 calories when they are connected in series 25 plus 25 plus 25 that is equal to 75 ohms we know the voltage is given 230 volts we can find i i is equal to v by r 230 divided by 75 that is equal to 3.07 amps once we know the voltage and current and time is given per second t is equal to 1 Therefore, heat produced per second is equal to V into I into T divided by 4.2 calories. Simply substitute the formula: 230 into 3.07 into 1 divided by 4.2. That is equal to 168.12 calories. Case two: the resistors are connected in parallel. When the three resistors are connected in parallel, that is the heating element is connected in parallel. The equivalent resistance is 8.33 ohms. 1 by 25 plus 1 by 25 plus 1 by 25. Therefore, R is equal to 8.33. I is equal to V by R. 230 divided by 8.33. That is equal to 27.61 amps. Heat produced per second is equal to 230 into 27.61 into 1 divided by 4.2. That is equal to 1511.98 calories. Problem two: An immersion water heater takes 30 minutes to heat 60 kg of water from 20 degrees centigrade to boiling point. Calculate the power rating of the heater. Efficiency of the heater is 90 percentage. Heat received by the water or output is equal to m into s into g, where m is a mass in kg, s is a specific heat capacity, theta is a t2 minus t1, that is a final temperature minus initial temperature. I m is given that is 60 into s is 1 into 100 minus 20, that is equal to 80. 60 into 80 is equal to 4,800 kilocalories. We know that one kilowatt hour is equal to 860 kilocalories. 4,800 divided by 860 that is equal to 5.58 kilowatt hour. That is the output. And the efficiency of the heater is given 90 percentage. That is 0.9. We can find the input. Input energy is equal to 5.58 divided by 0.9. That is equal to 6.2 kilowatt hour. Once we know the kilowatt hour, we can, we know the time. That is 30 minutes is given. We can find the power rating. Power rating is equal to power divided by time. That is 6.2 divided by 30 minutes is given 30 divided by 60. That is equal to 6.2 divided by 0.5. That is equal to 12.4 kilowatts. The power rating of the heater is 12.4 kilowatts. Problem three: A storage electric water heater is required to raise the temperature of 20 kg of water from 20 degrees centigrade to 80 degrees centigrade in 45 minutes. Calculate the resistance of the heating element if the heater is to be connected on 230 volt supply. Assume the efficiency of the heater is 90 percentage. First, we have to find heat received by the water. That is the output. That is equal to m into s into theta, where m is a mass, s is a specific heat capacity, theta is a difference in temperature. That is T2 minus T1 in kilocalories. That is m is given. That is 20 into 1 into 80 minus 28 is given. That is final temperature. 20 is initial temperature. That is equal to 1,200 kilocalories. Which is in kilocalories? We have to convert into kilowatt hour. We know that one kilowatt hour is equal to 860 kilocalories. We can find output energy in kilowatt hour. That is equal to 1,200 divided by 860. That is equal to 1.4 kilowatt hour. Once we know the Output energy and the efficiency we can find the input. The input energy is equal to output by efficiency. That is equal to 1.4 divided by 0.9. That is equal to 1.56 kilowatt hour. So the input energy is 1.56. Output energy is 1.4 kilowatt hour. Once we know the input energy, we can find the power rating. So power rating is equal to power divided by time. Time is given 45 minutes. 1.56 divided by 45 by 60. That is equal to 2.98 kilowatts. The power rating of the heater is 2.08 kilowatts. Once we know the power and we know the voltage 230, we can find the resistance. R is equal to V square by P, where V is given 230. 230 square divided by 2080, that is equal to 
the resistance of the heating element is 25.43 ohms problem number 4 a soldering iron is rated at 75 watts when connected to a 230 volt supply if the soldering iron takes 5 minutes to heat a working temperature of 150 degree centigrade from 20 degree centigrade find the mass assuming it to be made of copper specific heat capacity of copper is 390 joules per kg degree centigrade the first step is we have to find heat received by the soldering iron that is equal to mass into specific heat capacity into change in temperature that is t2 minus t1 t2 is given 150 t1 is given 20 therefore m we have to find m into 390 that is specific heat capacity of copper is given 390 into 390 into 130 we will get 50700 into m in joules heat released by the soldering iron that is equal to power into time time is given 5 minutes so the power is given 75 watts 75 into 5 into 60 that is equal to 22500 joules assuming all the heat released by the element is absorbed by the copper that is the efficiency of the soldering iron is 10 percentage therefore heat received by the soldering iron is equal to heat released by the soldering iron that is equal to 50700 into m that is equal to 22500 therefore m mass is equal to 22500 divided by 50700 that is equal to 0.44 kg so the mass of the material is 0.44 kg problem number 5 an electric kettle rises the temperature of 2 liters of water from 20 degree centigrade to 80 degree centigrade if the efficiency of the kettle is 85 percentage calculate energy consumed by the heater a in joules b in kilowatt hour the specific heat capacity of water is 4190 joules per kg kelvin assume 2 liters of water is equal to 2 kg Rising temperature is equal to T2 minus T1. T2 is 80. T1 is 20. That is equal to 60 degree centigrade or 60 Kelvin. We can find the energy output of the heater. That is equal to mass into specific heat capacity into rising temperature. Mass is given 2 liters. Specific heat capacity is given 4190. The change in temperature 80 minus 20. That is equal to 60. That is equal to 0.5028 into 10.6 joules. Once we know the output, we can find the input because the efficiency is given 85 percentage, that is 0.85. Output divided by efficiency. Therefore, energy input to the heater is equal to output 0.5028 into 10.6 divided by 0.85, that is equal to 0.592 into 10.6 joules. So, the energy consumed in joules is 0.592 into 10.6 joules. Energy input in kilowatt hour that is equal to 0.592 into 10.6 divided by 3.6 into 10.6 that is equal to 0.164 kilowatt hour. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.